Hallo und einen äh, wunderschönen vierten Advent hier vom Chateau de Colomb in Saint-Baudel, Frankreich. Bonsoir à tous et joyeux quatrième dimanche de l'Avent. And uh, Nacho, English speaking French from all the world, happy fourth Advent from the Chateau de Colomb yep. in Saint-Baudel, Frankreich, France. Let's <laughs> 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 just throw the languages in there. Ah. Uh, We hope you had a wonderful Advent time. Yeah, it went by really fast, didn't it? it <laughs> I don't even know where the time went. It did. And for our Jewish friends, uh, uh, happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. And um, so there were a lot of delicious things happening at the Chateau. Uh, some of them store-bought because we did not have the time right. to do what we um, hoped to be able to do. Um, I mean, did store did bake, but... There are a lot of things that need to be baked way in advance or right. um, that we needed to plan and we didn't. So, uh, but we still had a little cafe clutch or as we say in Germany, events cafe trinken, although it was tea. Um, and I'm sure next year this will be much larger much better prepared and much more planned in advance. Yeah. Which we do. I mean, it's, you know, you don't, I mean, and not just us, but um, in order to have a, an advanced cafe drinking or a, a coffee or tea get together in Advent, uh, th that's a whole to do. And it's, it's a big German tradition and I love it. Um, so have a look what we did. And some of it is with alcohol. Mm. Imagine that. <laughs> Today I'm making uh, sugar cookies and these are the ingredients for it. Uh, this has both uh, the dry and the wet mixtures. Over here we have the wet mixtures which are two eggs at room temperature. Uh, we have one cup of sugar and three quarters of a cup of soft shortening and One, it'll be one uh, teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then for the dry ingredients, there are two and a half cups of sifted flour. And to that, I will be adding one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. And those will get added in together after the, with the wet ingredients are all mixed in the mixer. So let's go. Okay, now what we'll do is we're going to uh, take all of the cookie dough and we're going to put it into a glass bowl and cover it up and stick it into the refrigerator for at least an hour. Okay, so we have the cookie dough that has been refrigerated. Now we're going to put it out onto the surface and roll it out. Now we're going to bake them at a 400 degree oven. That's 205 degrees Celsius. And we're going to bake them for six to eight minutes. Okay, this is after seven minutes and you can see that they are just gold around the edges, which is absolutely perfect. So now, just need to let them cool, put them on a cooling rack, and then work on the next shape.
Einen wunderschönen guten Tag hier aus saint Baudel. <laughs> Good day here from saint Baudel, Chateau de Colombe. I am making glue wine today and I'm going to do this in two languages because um, I was asked to do so. So I will um, do all the ingredients for uh, glue wine in two, in, the, in first English and then in German. Um, now there is a bit of history to mulled wine. It's age old. Uh, I think there's, there is what I read. Um, I would like to believe it, but that even the Egyptians already uh, used spices in wine. But in the Middle Ages uh, in, in Europe, uh, mulled wine was very, very common. And uh, Irene, um, who is a friend of ours, sent a recipe um, that I have a very similar one from my great grandmother. Um, from the early uh, 1900s, uh, and it's basically wine, uh, water, cinnamon, and a little sugar. That's mulled wine, for, was for my great-grandmother, and I think for Irene's great-grandparents and grandparents as well. So, uh, let's just say we came a long way since then, and uh, recipes are a bit more sophisticated. So. Let me start with one liter of wine. I would like to point out that your glue wine can only be as good as the wine you actually utilize to cook it. So, um, when you can, here in Europe, uh, in Germany, I've seen glue wine for 99 cents per liter. How good can that red wine be that's in it with spices and packaging and shipping or, you know, transport? Can't be that great. I just doubt it. Anyways, um, so this is a good Merlot that I'm using. You can use any decent wine. I'm not saying use an expensive wine because that would be over the top. But a, a good, decent wine that you like to drink uh, will absolutely do. So I have here 50 gram of sugar. You can increase the amount of sugar. I like my... Uh, blue wine, rather, or malt wine, rather, um, uh, on the on the drier side, not too sweet. Um, and I do this all in German. So, uh, ich habe also einen Liter Rotwein in den Topf getan. Und uh, denkt dran, dass euer Glühwein nur so gut sein kann wie der entsprechende uh, Wein, den man benutzt, wenn man Glühwein für 99 Cent oder 1,39 Euro irgendwo bekommt, kann das kein sehr guter Rotwein sein. Ich habe dann 50 Gramm Zucker reingemacht. Ich mag meinen Glühwein lieber uh, auf der, an der trockenen Seite nicht zu süß. Das ist alles nach Geschmack. Okay, now I'm going back to English. This is the juice of one freshly juiced orange. Okay, that is the juice of, um, that's <laughs> now I'm translating English to English, it happens to me all the time. Uh, yeah, uh, Saft von einer frisch gepressten Orange. And now it's the spice mix. Uh, the spice, spice mix, I'm using this very generously. It has in allspice uh, cloves. There are, like, I think, 7 to 10 cloves in here, 15 to 20 allspice, 4 pieces of cardamom and um, dried orange peel, uh, which it smells absolutely delicious. Uh, and so this is, this is quite a lot. Jetzt kommt das, um, die Gewürzmischung dazu. Das ist Piment. Ich glaube, glaub, ich habe 15 <laughs> Pimentkugeln da drin. Um, uh, das kann für Leute natürlich auch viel zu überwältigen sein. Nehmt weniger, wenn es euch zu viel ist. Uh, sieben bis zehn Nelken. Um, vier Kardamom uh, Hülsen. Und uh, dann habe ich hier getrocknete Orangenschale drin. Uh, it smells delicious. Riecht wirklich hervorragend. Und jetzt machen wir es an. Und das... Was, was nicht passieren darf, ist, dass der Wein kocht. What you shouldn't ever have is that your wine is actually boiling. You want it warm. Um, and then you let it just sit um, and stay hot if you have that option. 
Right now I can put it on our wood burning stove in the kitchen. It will uh, stay warm and you do this, let this sit for an hour at least or two so that the spices and the orange peel can actually develop their aroma. Uh, das eine, was man nie machen darf oder soll, ist, dass der, der Wein anfang, anfängt wirklich zu kochen. Äh, nicht mal köcheln, der soll nur warm oder sehr, sehr warm sein. Ähm, ich stelle ihn nachher oder gleich, wenn er warm genug ist, auf den äh, Ofen eben hier in der Küche. Der ist wirklich warm, aber nichts kocht drauf. Äh, der halte ich auch Tee warm. Und für eine bis zwei Stunden, damit die Gewürze sich uh, entfalten können. And later, when this is done in about two hours, I will add uh, a good shot glass or two, two, two shot, big shot glasses uh, full with uh, Contro and three big shot glasses of rum. Um, that's an addition uh, that's used, I have it the first time Oh, uh, in, in the 80s. Uh, it's, it's quite delicious. It gives it uh, an extra warming factor. Um, wenn das alles warm ist, mache ich noch 20 Milliliter Contro und 30 Milliliter Rum rein. Uh, wenn es, äh, wenn das, äh, nachdem es durchgefiltert ist oder durchgegossen durch Sieb. Und ich werde das dann nachher, wir werden es nachher testen. And we'll test it later. I just realized I totally forgot to mention that there are, there's a good uh, stick of cinnamon in there. Um, without that, it would not work. <laughs> I apologize. Um, ich habe völlig vergessen, dass ich uh, eine Stange Zimt da auch noch mit drin habe. Und ohne Zimt wäre es Glühwein kein Glühwein. So this has been on the top of our wood burning stove for about two hours and oh my god can you smell this Stuart? oh yeah that smells fantastic so but it's it's a completely changed aroma to this so now i'm going to pour it and i hope i won't spill too much of it I hope I spill none, but that's a different story. Not so much is already good. So the orange peel is all soft. Spices. I haven't spilled much, just blotched a little. One thing you can do with these spices now, you can actually put them in little potpourri. That spilled, great. I didn't, but it did. Uh, can let them dry and have it in a little potpourri in the room for a day or so. It just makes your room look, uh, look great. Smell great. It does smell <laughs> great. Well, both actually. Yeah, no, well, you know, just whatever. Having used spices there, I don't know if that's just a good <laughs> look in general. Not lots that spilled, but kitchen utensils that are meant to pour, that are poor pours, are ridiculous. How about that? Mm, good. I thought it was a pretty good, uh, you know, way of putting it. So, this is gonna get nice and warm now in the next minute or two and Stuart and I are going to go outside in a sec and in order to keep glue wine hot we're using cups with that kind of insulation Ah, uh, they're really quite lovely. And to top this all off, 
This is the 30 milliliters of uh, rum and 20, actually it's also 30 milliliters of Contra, which I'm adding to this now. Could you stir this for a sec? Sure. That should be good. Okay. I don't know what our dogs are barking at, but they're barking at something. So this is, you can see it's very hot, but again, it's not boiling. And the nice thing is it is actually freezing outside. So this is for Stuart. Thank you. And I have to make this again uh, when my parents are getting here so that if my mother is ever cold, she can just drink this. Ooh. Cheers, that's the first uh, glue vine, malt wine of the Chateau de Colombe. Cheers, right. everyone. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, nice. It has some octane. Yes, that'll warm me up. <laughs> <laughs> but it, the spices are just really lovely. And I know I, we like this to be more spicy. Other people might like it when it's more, well, less spicy. Right. Um, do it in whatever way you like to have it because it's all about what you enjoy, not what we enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. Happy holidays. So the glue wine turned out really, really nice. Uh, we were outside the courtyard. Um, it was really <laughs> cold, <laughs> very cold. <laughs> the dogs were delighted. Yeah. We were all out there, uh, well, all of us, but uh, only two of us got the glue wine. It's really good. Um, I'm, I'm glad it turned out really well. Yes, and we will be making some more. Yes. Yes, Par Patrick's parents are here, so we're going to be making some more while they're here. So I'm going to booze up my mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Not really. Yeah. But if since my mother is so skinny and is always cold, if she's cold, um, I'll just heat up some blue wine and say, cheers, mom. <laughs> I think that's... It, it does help. I, I mean, and uh, you know, it's, it's an old tradition, so it's going to be wonderful. And we wish you... The, for the remainder of the Advent time, uh, great time. Yes, and thank you for joining us for all four of our episodes of the four uh, Advents, Sunday Advents yes. at the Chateau. And uh, a peaceful time. Yep. Thanks for your support. Joyeux Noël. Merry Christmas and I'm froh Weihnachtszeit. See you.
Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Au revoir. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you'd like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.